I'm Patrick Bias and I'm an actor and a filmmaker. It's not all about the fame to me. It's about making my family happy, making a difference, having my voice be heard, and showing everyone what I actually go through to become successful. So right now I'm about to go audition for a recurring role on Fox. It's a nice football player role. And um, later on I'm gonna go watch my show that I'm on today that comes on a blacklist with my family for a little bit. And it's going to be a cool day. Yeah. So I just got out the audition. I thought I, I did very good. All right, so I got to go see my manager for a quick minute. And then I'm going back to New Jersey. And tonight, Blacklist, season premiere. I'll be co-starring, so this should be fun. Yeah. And much love to East Windsor, Heistown, always showing love, being supportive, you know, my South Bronx family and my family and friends on Facebook, Instagram, everybody. You know, I really appreciate y'all. What's up, polio? What's up, polio? Five minutes. Hello? All units be advised. Constable sighting. Eyewitness report. Alleged suspect seen entering a silver Chevy minivan. DC plate number Charlie Romeo 73 Romeo 2. Almost a sighting. 12 minutes ago. Within seconds, agency in the breaches building. They're gonna want to speak to you because you called on the tip. Get rid of them. If your brother dies. Downstairs. FBI! FBI! Hey! 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 Right? What do you think they're here? We got an anonymous tip from your phone saying they were here. I don't know what you're talking about. I haven't called it. Oh, bring a fugitive is a felony. You're me again. You're in jail. Where are they? I don't know. Second floor, clear. Look, if I knew something, I'd say. I'm not going to lie to the FBI. Sir, we're all clear. So just left from my aunt's house and um, you know we was watching a blacklist and I found out that like some of my parts that I was in that was actually 
you know, cut down some, I guess, because like the editing, um, you know, just things that you don't have control over just to keep the story going. So, I mean, was in it some little slightly see me, but I mean, I'm actually fortunate to actually get a chance to actually be in it. My role in Blue Bloods is pretty bigger. So, and thank you so much for the director for actually giving me a chance to be a part of it. And, uh, thank you everybody who's, you know, being supportive and, you know, you know, the ball when, when things like this happen is just like, can't get discouraged. I mean, it might feel like a little punch in the chin, but so like you can't get discouraged because, you know, I've been in this game for so long and I'm not going to quit and, and things are falling into place for me still. So like, you know, I got billions, I got blue bloods and some other things in the work. So it happens, but peace and God bless. And thank you so much guys for being there for me and the love and everything. Much love. Peace. Yeah. La da da.